while the iPhone 13 is months away from its release. We have already started seeing plenty of rumors about the Apple has in store for us. When the phone arrives in the fall, from everything we have heard so far, the iPhone 13 is set to offer a 120Hz LTPO display on both Pro models, improved battery life thanks to a more efficient 5G modem, as well as substantial upgrades to the all-important cameras that includes a LiDAR sensor on cheaper iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini, as well as a new portrait video mode based on all the rumors and leaks out there already. Here is everything we know about the iPhone 13. So make sure you watch this entire video so that you don't miss anything important about the device. Also subscribe to our channel to never miss our future uploads and bell icon is must. Go! What are you waiting for? Click the bell icon and never miss any updates on our channel. Alright guys, so let's begin this video. Starting with the name of this device, early rumors about this false iPhone have used iPhone 13 as the name for the upcoming model since Apple went from the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 12 last year. But a handful of recent rumors have referred to the unreleased iPhone by a different name, the iPhone 12s. Slapping an S at the end of model number would actually be a written to form for Apple, which used to alternate between releasing a new model number and then an S version of the same phone the following year. The last phone to fit into that pattern was the iPhone 6. Released in 2015, the S model of iPhones generally implied that the phone had a lot in common with last year's version, save for a few key improvements. So whether Apple goes with the iPhone 12s or iPhone 13, as the name will say a lot about how different this year's phone truly is. One report from Mac Otaka, having spoken to sources in Apple's supply chain, reports that the iPhone 13 design will finally offer a thinner notch. This could be accomplished by moving the top speaker. If you want an idea of what that might look like, Let's Go Digital published some iPhone 13 renders, actually labeled as the iPhone 12 Pro, that show off Apple's phone with a smaller notch and a Touch ID sensor under the phone display. In addition, the iPhone 13 may be slightly thicker, which would allow for a larger battery. The biggest change we can expect from the iPhone 13 is that one model could feature a portless design, dropping the lightning port and opting for charging and data transfer to be carried out wirelessly. This would be a radical change from the iPhone 12. We can expect there to be an iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max. But things aren't so much clear on whether there will be an iPhone 13 mini. The iPhone 12 mini hasn't sold very well and can be considered a flop. This has led to speculation that it might be killed off. But a new leak has the iPhone 13 mini still tipped to be coming. If Apple sticks to having 4 models of iPhone 13, then we can expect the displays to measure in at 5.4 inches, 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches. A report from ET News says that Apple will adopt a 120Hz refresh rate for the 6.1 inch iPhone 13 Pro and 6.7 inch iPhone 13 Pro Max. This will allow for smoother scrolling as well as improved gameplay and video playback. That leak was given further credence by a more recent one that noted the two iPhone 13 Pro models will get the 120Hz display, which will be able to dynamically scale its refresh rate up or down, depending on what's being viewed courtesy of an LTPO panel from Samsung Display. This will help save on battery life. Recent leaks have the iPhone 13 tipped to use an always-on display, something the LTPO tech could certainly facilitate. And a recent video shows how it could work. An always-on display would finally give Apple's iPhone a feature that Android phones have had for some time. As night follows day, so too can we expect a chip upgrade for the iPhone 13 over its predecessor. It's likely this will come in the form of the A15 Bionic, a successor to the very powerful A14 Bionic and the iPhone 12. This new system on a chip could be a reasonable upgrade on the A14 Bionic, likely boosting overall performance and efficiency. A major upgrade doesn't look likely until the iPhone 14, when Apple could potentially make a chip based on a 4 nanometer process node. Currently, the A14 Bionic inside the iPhone 12 is a 5nm chip. When it comes to a storage, we are not expecting any upgrade over the iPhone 12. As such, we predict the iPhone 13 will come in 128GB, 256GB, 
and 512 GB variants. But a recent leak from John Prosser has claimed the iPhone 13 Pro will come with up to 1 GB of internal storage. That will be double the maximum storage of current gen iPhones. Wow, let's wish for this to happen. We haven't heard much about the entire iPhone 13 range yet, but one leak has the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max offering a new 6-element ultra-wide lens. It would also offer autofocus capability. The current iPhone 12 Pro models sport a 5-element ultra-wide angle lens. The more elements in a lens, the better the image quality tends to be as a rule. One interesting rumor that has come up suggests Apple is looking for suppliers for a folded lens camera that will improve the iPhone 13's optical camera zoom. Speaking of zooming, the iPhone 13 is also tipped to get camera upgrades that allow it to better shoot the night sky as well as deliver portrait mode videos. Portrait video mode will offer a blurred background on a video footage when enabled. It will also reportedly let you customize the depth of field after shooting so you can dial in the blurred effect after the fact. One dial addition would be the inclusion of LiDAR sensors on the iPhone 13 and 13 mini rather than just the Pro models. That's according to sources speaking to DigiTimes, at least, who say all 2021 iPhones will include the advanced sensor. According to a report in Bloomberg, Apple is working on offering an in-display fingerprint sensor for the iPhone 13. This would be in addition to Face ID, a separate report in the Wall Street Journal details that Apple will be using a new in-screen optical fingerprint sensor to pull off Touch ID. Samsung phones use an ultrasonic reader, but the claim is that the optical variety could be more accurate in Apple's implementation. A report from an analyst, Ming-Chi Kuo said that Apple will once again offer 4 sizes for the iPhone 13. So you can expect a 5.4-inch iPhone 13 mini, a 6.1-inch iPhone 13, a 6.1-inch iPhone 13 Pro and a 6.7-inch iPhone 13 Pro Max. We would expect these to cost the same as the iPhone 12 range, so $699, $799, $999 and $1099 respectively. Apple tends to keep its pricing structure fairly rigid from generation to generation, so we are not expecting an increase to the sticker price. If the iPhone 13 release date follows Apple's pattern, for previous launches, we could see the device hit shelves on the 4th Friday of September 2021. That would be September 24. Despite the coronavirus-related delays that faced the iPhone 12, pushing its launch to October 13, Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo claims that the iPhone 13 should return to a normal release schedule in 2021. So guys, this was all about the upcoming iPhone 13 or 12s. Whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys liked the video. If yes, then smash the like button and hit the bell icon to never miss our future uploads. Also, subscribe to our Gadgets Friendly channel, Gadgets Times.